Right, before this video starts, I just want to say I'm doing a giveaway when I hit 1,000 subscribers. So all you got to do is subscribe and turn on notifications. And then head over to the video in the top of the description. And uh, like that video and tell me in that video, comment down why you would, what you would buy with the gift cards or PlayStation or Xbox. It could be V-Bucks or anything. So yeah, just do that and you'll be in with a chance of winning when I hit 1,000 subscribers. Tell you mates. Right guys, welcome back to the video, and today we're going to do my Premier League prediction for the 2018-19 season. So I just want to say at the start, this is obviously my prediction, and uh, I don't want anyone like uh, give me hate because I've done so something wrong. Obviously it's an opinion, so if you disagree with something, either just say it or put your prediction in the comment. I'd like to see a few more predictions uh, for the whole table because it'll be interesting to see where you think different teams will come, come and obviously it's going to be different to mine. Probably won't be... Uh, the same so yeah we're gonna start off we're gonna go from uh, bottom to the top because I think it leaves the like winners till last so at 20 uh, I've gone for Fulham uh, because I think I think it'd have to be one of the um, uh, bottom team uh, one of the promoted teams to go down I just feel like that's that, that's gonna be the case I've gone for Fulham because uh, I'm a Cardiff fan by the way and I'm not just saying that but I think Cardiff will pull out the bag with the underdogs, everything we're going down, so hopefully we can. Obviously, this is my prediction. And um, yeah, so I think Fulham because uh, Wolves have also spent loads of money. If Wolves go down, uh, I'll be surprised because of the amount of money they've spent uh, on like their Portuguese players and stuff. Fulham have bought uh, Schürrle and Seri and a few players like that, but I do believe uh, Fulham will go down. Obviously, I could be wrong. And number 19th spot is going to be uh, Southampton for me. Uh, I don't, I don't want to be rude, but they're a boring club for me, and um, yeah, they just, I don't know, I don't think they've signed anyone amazing, and I think that probably they'll go down, uh, I think it's their time to go down, it sounds so harsh, I don't want any hate from anyone else, but yeah, uh, number 18, I'm going to go for Crystal Palace, they also, I don't think they've signed anyone decent, and they seem to scrape it every year, so uh, yeah, 17, I'm going for Bournemouth, um, We've just signed on a loan deal, literally right now, Harry Arter. So um, hopefully he can play for us uh, and do do well. And um, maybe they'll be missing him, I'm not sure. I don't think he started for them, but yeah, you never know. So I've gone for 17th, Bournemouth. And then 16th, I've actually put my uh, my own team, Cardiff, here. Because I think, I, well, I hope we'll stay up, and I think we will. But if we do, it's going to be tough. So that's why I've put us uh, two places out of relegation. So... Yeah, that's us there. We have signed some decent players, but I think we do need a striker and we uh, didn't buy one. So, yeah, I've put us there. 15th is Wolves, obviously the third promoted club out of the ones I haven't mentioned. Like I said, they've signed loads of players from Portugal. They've spent loads of money, just a lot more than Fulham and Cardiff have. Cardiff have spent the least out of the th uh, three, but yeah, just I think they've spent so much, they've got to do it now and they've got to stay up. 14th Watford, don't know a lot about Watford, but I've put them there uh, just uh, above mid table, so or below mid table, in that uh, in that sense. So yeah, I put 14th for Watford, and then 13 West Ham. They've just uh, got rid of Joe Hart, obviously, and um, uh, so like I don't know, don't really see them doing that well. They weren't doing well last season, uh, new stadium and stuff. They're just not fitting in well. The fans weren't happy, so yeah, I don't see them doing well either. 13th for West Ham. 12th got Huddersfield. I think they'll just stay in the Prem, uh, not go uh, too much higher. I'm not sure where they finished last season, but they obviously did stay up. And uh, Huddersfield, our team, I'd like to see do well because uh, they're like, they never used to be that great, but now they're doing the Prem and they're pretty comfortable last season. So yeah, 12th is Huddersfield. And then 11th is actually going to be Brighton, another team that. Uh, weren't really uh, like a Prem side for a while, but now they are. So we're going for Brighton at 11th. 10th, Newcastle. Uh, I just see them playing a lot, a lot better. They didn't do too well last season. Uh, didn't really score a lot of goals, really. So, yeah, I've gone for Newcastle this season. Hopefully, they can uh, do better. And uh, it's actually Josh Murphy's uh, brother playing for them. And it's our first home game. So, hopefully, we can beat them then, though. 
And then ninth Leicester, obviously they won the Prem the other year. Well, not the other year, it was quite a while ago now, but uh, yeah, I don't know. They've got a few good players. I think uh, Harry Maguire is still at, at, the, at the club, so he's obviously going to play uh, pretty well because he did amazing in the World Cup. Um, yeah, I think they just do like decent. Just ninth is actually pretty good. But then eighth, we're going for Burnley. Obviously, they uh, got Europa League. They uh, shocked everyone, but Burnley are a pretty good club. But then uh, uh, I've put seventh Everton, and that is because of the amount that they, the amount that they've signed, they've just signed um, what's his face? Uh, um, he's Brazilian midfielder. Can't think of his name now. Might come back to me. I'm not sure, but uh, you obviously know what I'm on about. They've also, uh, I think, they loaned Mina from Barca, or no, no, sorry, they they bought Mina and they've loaned uh, Andre Gomez. And they've got a few other signings, so with that, uh, with that in mind, I think they'll uh, come above Burnley this year. Didn't have the best of season last year. And we're going to move on. Sixth, we've got Arsenal. Uh, I don't know what to say about Arsenal. This could either be completely wrong or just about right. Arsenal could come much higher than new manager, but I, I, I didn't watch PSG. And uh, I don't know how this guy uh, uh, is going to do with Arsenal. So I put them six. And like, uh, who have they bought? Uh, they've bought, uh, what's his name, Socrates. He's a good signing, actually. Um, who else have they bought? Uh, I can't think off the top of my head now. I literally can't think. But by me, I will probably have a great season again. And uh, yeah, that is uh, Arsenal at sixth. And then fifth is going to be Man United. I think they should have signed a centre back. They didn't get one in time. Uh, they apparently they contacted loads of players, uh, but didn't get one. Harry Maguire, one of them, Boateng, I think they had a little uh, like uh, rumor with and stuff like that. They just they just didn't get their centre back. They got Fred, who could be a flop. Never know. Uh, Pogba did stay with them in the end, but yeah, I think Man United will uh, probably uh, come fifth. Can't speak. Fourth is gonna be Spurs. I, it's either gonna be Man U or Spurs fourth because. One Spurs didn't spend any money, but two they they have a good side anyway. Like their side is strong. They got Kane, Dembele is amazing in midfield. They just have a they have a really good side. So I think Spurs can still hold out even with signing no one literally. So uh, yeah, on to third place and third place for me is gonna be Chelsea. They have signed Jorginho and uh, who's that? Uh, their keeper, uh, Kepa. Uh, I can't say his last name. I'm not gonna attempt it. But he could be good. They've got rid of Courtois. Obviously, Rob Green coming in. About 38 years old. So, he's going to be, like, probably third choice. I don't know who they are, the keeper are. But, um, who else have they bought? Uh, I think they still they still got Morata and Giroud. Uh, or Giroud might have gone. I heard a rumour with him. I don't think he did, actually. Um, but, yeah, not a great uh, striker option. But they do, uh, obviously, have their last season striker but then second I'm gonna go for and this is like it's between the two and you all know who it is now Man City or Liverpool I think it's gonna be Liverpool second they have obviously Salah who had the best season he's ever gonna have probably last season and uh, obviously got to Champions League and stuff but I think they've signed a lot of good players Fabinho, Keita, uh, obviously Allison in goal awesome sign in but I think Man City are gonna uh, keep uh, their title again and uh, just uh, play through the season like they did last season. They, I, who, I don't know if they bought many good players actually. They had Joe Hart back, but then he went to Burnley. Uh, I can't think who Man City have bought off the top of my head, but they, they just got the same team, De Bruyne and stuff like that. So with that team, you literally can't go wrong. It's, it's such a good team. Pep Guardiola is still there, so yeah, I think it's gonna be a great season for them again. It's between Man City and Liverpool. One and two, I think, are very. Uh, tight spots it's going to be close between those two so yeah that is my prediction like i said uh this is my prediction so uh don't like hate on it because obviously uh it's an opinion so if you have a different one definitely leave it down in the comments below and yeah if you enjoyed the video please hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already peace we'll